Ladies and gentlemen, and freelancers of all ages, welcome to another installment of How To with M2. This video will be discussing freelance income, the good, the bad, and the beautiful. After over a year and reviewing hundreds of videos that promise the viewer easy ways to make money, I decided making this video was an absolute necessity. And here's why. The powers to be at YouTube are on the warpath recently with hate speech, so I'm going to choose my words very wisely. I don't have room in my heart for hate, but if I did, this would be one group of clowns I certainly could start to dislike. In short, there is not a shovel big enough to scoop up the excrement that piles up in this group. With that said, and as with most things in life, this is not, of course, unequivocal. There are some YouTube creators that do have the best interest of their viewership in mind. To spare you the ugly details of my findings, I prepared a little comedic parody. Hope you enjoy. You want to kill the bell of the day? You got to be in for your bells! For your bells! Lamborghini, um, Gravity Sego car, and um, this is a really big car from the video. You can't really see how big it is, but it's actually really big. See how it works. Um, otherwise, then it's really cool, and the door is open. So you just hold these two buttons, right, in, in the remote control, that you just hold like this, and if you just leave it like that, it presses button. Damn, this is my name, Squeeze, she's a model, she's getting her tan on, yeah. ...preparing for various competitions, and there's no time... Here's the ex, she's trying to take me for everything I got, yeah. Here's the ex, yeah, I can't stand it, you bitch. Yeah, it's like five year old skip bitch, he wanted the bull tacks, I said go for the bull tacks, get the bull tacks, you need the bull tacks. Age, many contestants already have modeling coaches, but some parents also like to be heavily involved every step of the way. Some parents pressure their kids to be perfect at all times, and as we all yeah, know, man, these are just some of my babes when I bounce in them and I'm gonna take them out in the land ball. Yeah, here's the uh, here's Mercedes, she's making about three grand a day. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. You 
can do this too. You can do this too. I'm not in it for the clicks and views. You can do this too. And it's all passive, all passive. I started in the cradle. Let me show you. It's all passive. It just comes in. It's all passive. I started when I was two. <laughs> Sorry, boss. This passive income is like taking the candy from the baby. <laughs> On a more serious note, and after careful consideration, I believe this is the best way for us to approach an improvement to our general understanding of making money as a freelancer. Quit your secure 9 to 5 to become a freelancer? You must be nuts! Well, maybe not so, but let's first cover some basic principles. To establish a solid frame of reference, please carefully contemplate these four basic principles. More of a legal principle than an economic law, agreements, or business contracts need certain elements to be lawfully binding. And one of those important elements is consideration. And what is meant by consideration is all agreements to be lawful must be quid pro quo, which is Latin for something for something. If you are promised something and yet you have not offered anything, you do not have a binding contract. Therefore, it is okay for someone to promise you the world. There is no implied contract since there was no consideration for them offering you the world. Money whether it be in the form of tangible cash or coin, negotiable notes, or even promissory notes, is highly relative, if not infinitely relative. Now, since cash craziness seems to be such a profound part of our collective psyche. Let's touch upon this without a direct judgment upon you, the viewer. Let's consider how much money is spent on designer drugs and partying and general recklessness. Now let's consider what UNICEF has paid for this hot breakfast. I'm going to spare you the horrific images that usually are shown when this point is made. However, from the Holy Scripture, what good is it for you to gain the whole world, and of course all the cash in it, and yet forfeit your soul? Work diligently on having a clear, fulfilled mind and seek the truth, your inner truth. It is not likely in this life that you are going to find yourself through the opinions of others. Recent psychological studies indicate we lie to ourselves hundreds, if not thousands of times per day. Now, although much of this is out of survival instinct, it's important to realize you are responsible for your happiness and well-being. In the ultra-highly recommended read, What Color Is Your Parachute?, which is now standard fare for all undergrad students before they go out into the real world, there are a number of exercises that prove to be extremely valuable in helping you find where your career efforts would be best suited. 
one of these exercises which always stood out to me is that of the fish and the pond and how important it is for you to identify what size fish you are or want to be and what size pond you wish to fulfill your career goals in. Are you the small fish that seeks the large pond? The large fish that seeks the small pond. I have always done best as a medium fish in a medium pond. Of course, this is only one of many very valuable exercises you will find in what color is your parachute and it is ultra highly recommended. The details are in the comment section below. All current subscribers that post a comment requesting what color is your parachute will get one for free. Although number four sounds overly simplistic, I hope you give it extra consideration. Number four is a basic economic law that says there is no such thing as a free lunch. Be it known that even this elated dumpster diver has just contracted botulism. And I know we're all hoping he will have a very speedy recovery. And now that we have our framework, here comes the fun part. Making money with a smile. I hope you have the pioneer spirit because so much relating to this topic is still uncharted territory. And I can tell you I've been all over the map on this one. In fact, I have so much information. I put the wheels in motion for a follow-up video which is going to have the 10 best opportunities I came across and the 10 biggest disappointments that I have come across. There is no question that opportunities do abound. However, to make it, you are going to need the heart of a lion and laser-like focus. I quickly learned that all the so-called opportunities currently running on YouTube, even collectively, are just a drop in the proverbial bucket. Let me please clear the air on something. There is no such thing as passive income, okay? If you happen to know who on God's greenish blue earth started the expression passive income, please get the information into the comment section. And if you would like to defend the concept of passive income, please you must get to the comment section. Now there is such a thing as residual income. However, for various reasons, I don't recommend that you start here. It's time for our lightning round of do's and don'ts. Your time is your most valuable asset. If someone does not respect your time, they do not respect you. Never speculate, especially on cheap plastic items from the Pacific Rim. Goodness knows we have enough of that. This also includes the stock market and other speculative items, which we'll cover under a different heading. Always seek solid advice from someone who is well accomplished in the area you wish to be in. There is no replacement for experience. Don't let what other people say about you and your actions set you back. People will talk negatively about you, particularly behind your back. So don't play politics with your goals. Dedicate yourself to one, perhaps 
two major goals for your career endeavor. Focusing or trying to focus on more than that will just simply not work. You will be having a lot of new and fun experiences. However, it's so important not to be sidetracked or to take too much time for something that is simply not worth it. This is a big one which I hope you take extra time to ponder. I had learned this from a highly accomplished mentor. Check details. Check the facts. You do not get what you expect. You get what you inspect. No one likes the mundane task of, let's say, counting a bag of beans. However, you won't get as many beans as you expected. You will get exactly how many beans you inspected. Don't play big shot and waste your resources. If you are going to win at your strategy, it's not going to be through ego-driven arrogance. Specialize and value add. It is better to be the king or queen of one than it is to be the jack of many. Please ponder this point extra carefully as well. It gets the double red box. Never sell yourself short. This is very common. You see it all the time. When people are under pressure to perform or to crank good numbers, they will typically lower prices and even take a loss just to move product or services. Don't do this. Always seek the deals that are mutually beneficial. This one is such a pain in the royal tuchus, I even dislike bringing it up. Be sure you're using proper accounting and proper accounting methods. Even in the very busy times, make sure everything is accounted for. Utilize what you have, especially in the beginning, even if it's not new looking and shiny. If it'll do the job, use the assets that you currently have, also referred to in accounting as a sunk cost. This is much better than going out and spending your precious capital. With the exception of maybe a rocket surgeon, a little Mike Myers joke there, we are all going to find ourselves in that position where we are going to have to wing it. Every so often, it almost seems that this is necessary. However, don't wing it too much. Don't take in a partner, unless, of course, it's your spouse. Disagreements are one of the major reasons for business failure. Let's wrap up the lightning round with this. Prioritize this list based on your own strengths and your own weaknesses. Most importantly, be honest. Push yourself hard for a new level of honesty and do this over a few days with constant re-evaluations as you move forward in your endeavors. Yeah, Mark, that's all fine and good, but when are you going to learn us how to make some real cash? <laughs> Interesting you should ask that. While researching opportunities on Spotify, I randomly selected three instructional videos on that very topic. The first was the blonde goddess. Good looking gal, but not too much to offer. The second was pig man with not too much to offer. And the third, well, <clears throat> let me just say, um, he didn't have too much to offer. Uber. If you are considering the transportation of people, you are certainly in a good area. However, I would not do this with Uber. 
And here's why. Very low pay. You have a lot of liability driving people around. A lot of wear and tear on your car. And it just does not balance out. Even with autonomous vehicles just over the horizon, if you're in need of some urgent cash, it does make sense to independently run deliveries by contracting to a delivery company. And if you must, sure, drive passengers, but not for Uber. Now, you may be surprised by this, but a big no to Amazon. <laughs> There are so many reasons for this, you would probably fill up about three to five complete videos just scratching the surface. The Amazon marketplace is experiencing major saturation, and this saturation is so extreme, a startup such as yourself just simply would not stand a chance. So many will tell you how great Amazon is and what a success Amazon is, which also, by the way, is a good cue for you to run the other way. However, let's look at the financial situation of Amazon. Amazon has never really made money. I know you may find that hard to believe. Very recently, they're saying they're starting to turn a profit. However, the facts are that Amazon has consistently lost money to grow market share. That is the equivalent of wrapping cash around an item to get someone to buy it. For obvious reasons, you don't want to play that game or be directly involved with anyone who does. Plus, there are absolutely freakish accounts of conditions coming from direct employees of Amazon that are working at their distribution center. Now, a reasonable amount of debt can actually be healthy for a business. How do you feel about a hundred and thirty billion dollars of debt? There are approximately three hundred and twenty five million people in the United States. If each and every man, woman, child, and infant baby in the United States were to lend you five hundred dollars each your debt load would still not be as large as Amazon's. If you are a good people person and you like to help others, one of the better opportunities is for you to freelance in the area of home assistance. Build up some quality references, perhaps take some classes on geriatric care, and you can independently contract yourself out to companies like Visiting Angels or directly to those people that are in need of having services done in their home. Another excellent area to be in is pet care. Almost anything relating to pet care can do well for an independent. Whether it be a grooming business, whether it be a pet treat business, you can find so many opportunities in pet care. So if you're the type that enjoys animals and likes working with animals, pet care is an outstanding opportunity for you. All that would be required for success in any aspect of pet care would be keeping your nose to the proverbial grindstone. Fiverr, out of Tel Aviv. If you are going to purchase services, Fiverr is an excellent place to be. There are many competitive companies on Fiverr, and you can get good service at very low rates. However, if you're looking to make money and offering services, Fiverr is not the best 
place to be. If you are offering marketing-related services, Upwork is a must. Now, there is a certain amount of saturation, and you can waste a lot of time on Upwork with quotes and searching and different items that will sidetrack you. However, if you are looking for exposure, the mega trend is Upwork. By chance, you may have heard of a new little upstart called eBay. I am not recommending eBay except for items that you currently own and you want to liquidate. Craigslist. I am 50-50 on Craigslist. You have super low fees or even free. You have fairly decent but limited exposure and it's super easy to use. So before you would pay higher eBay fees and you want to sell something heavy perhaps in your local area, give Craigslist a go. However, there are a lot of whacked out people. It has a very strange vibe and it's limited exposure you're not getting the national exposure like ebay and a lot of people don't trust listings on craigslist worm farm <laughs> now <laughs> there is an esoteric message here there is a youtube creator who posts on a fairly regular basis different business ideas and he had mentioned a worm farm and also a mushroom farm down in the basement when I was living back east in New Jersey I knew an elderly woman who was raising laboratory test rodents and she did very well with it <laughs> all the worms mushrooms may not be your thing and I know you can't support laboratory testing of live animals you may have a hobby that you're interested in mine is DJing which has always worked very well for me so if you have a passion or a hobby even if it's boating you could start a small charter service for fishermen there are so many opportunities out there particularly for those items that don't have a lot of competition and that you have a passion for in other words your reward is more than just the money you're going to be making because you enjoy doing the activity YouTube. Participation in YouTube is absolutely mandatory in my opinion. It is a virtual who's who of the modern bulletin board. There are so many different aspects to YouTube that you can benefit by. It would take weeks if not months to touch briefly on all of them. Recent analytics indicate that YouTube by itself is the world's second largest search engine, second only to YouTube's parent, Google. This fact alone makes it absolutely necessary for you to dig deeper into the vast universe of YouTube. I must be missing something here, most likely I am. Shopify appears to me to be a platform, not an opportunity. And it seems as if a lot of creators on YouTube that are pointing to Shopify as an opportunity seem to be getting this wrong.
my personal experience with Shopify is that it was actually quite clumsy while interfacing with Google. So that caused me to cancel my account. But again, I want to emphasize this point that Shopify, just like other major e-commerce platforms such as Big Commerce, Magento, WooCommerce, Squarespace, Wix, and Big Cartel are not opportunities in themselves. They are large e-commerce platforms. And yes, you should have an e-commerce platform or at the very minimum an inexpensive website which you've designed to function as an e-commerce platform. We have already began work on publishing a video which in less than five minutes will show you how to produce a completely free e-commerce website and publish it online with no monthly fee. So be sure to click that bell to catch that video. We do very much appreciate your time and here are a couple of highly informative charts to prove it. Recent YouTube analytics indicate that 2 minutes and 28 seconds of the average video is watched. That is only 29% of the average video. Notice the steep curve after 100%. You have 100% of a population watching a video. After only 17 seconds, that number falls to 60% of the original 100%. And after 6 minutes and 24 seconds, it is only 10% of the original 100% that started watching the video. This is very informative as well, so should be included. Women tend to hang in there a little bit longer when it comes to watching videos. Although initially dropping out faster, on average, a woman will watch more of a video. One of my favorite activities is to check out various hardware stores and look at new innovative items, particularly those items which seem ripe to have value added. As of late, one product I really like is the portable dumpster by Waste Management. You spend 30 or so dollars on the bag, lay it out in your driveway and fill it up with all your refuse. And then they come by and pick it up and put it in in their truck and drive away. Now, you may be asking where I'm going with this. More than just this innovative item, let me save you a lot of time by this. Round up all the great opportunities for paid surveys, playing games online, and downloading apps. Put them all in one huge bundle of opportunity and immediately throw them into the dumpster bag and have them hauled away. Except for doing your own investigation to see how outlandish online opportunities have become you should not have anything to do with any of these alleged opportunities or even anything similar to them and here's why these companies will be very quick to tell you how they have a client that is willing to pay you for your opinion for you to listen to music for you to download and play a game, for you to download an app. They do not. What they do have is a list of potential buyers for the valuable marketing information they are fishing for.
And to make this horrendous situation even worse is the fact that affiliate marketers are on board promoting this crap for a small percentage of any money they will make. Although it seems these companies are great in number, they actually boil down to only a handful. And you may be thinking, if they have a customer that's willing to pay them for the information, why would they not pass some of that money on to you? Well, they will, but it'll be nickels and dimes. And remember that they need marketing information in bulk for analytics. Statistically, the bigger the population they have, the more accurate the statistics become. So they are interested in getting millions of data points not just your single opinion. So please, do the integrity of the online world a favor and do yourself a favor by disciplining yourself to avoid these alleged online opportunities. They will just prove to be a colossal waste of your time and corrupt your valuable equipment. Let me please end this video with some positive final thoughts. Here are the three teeter-totters of your success. Your personal innovations will always outweigh the same old, same old. Your original creativity will be exponentially more valuable than a plagiarized copy. A good, healthy, positive work ethic is essential to your success. Work on achieving your goals with all your energy and passion. Thank you.